Citroen C5X7 owners may recognize this as the ashtray. Yes, it's easy to remove. There's a video showing how to remove the center console. Once that's out, all you have to do is undo these two screws that go here and it will just slide out very easily. Now, in a previous video, which hopefully by this time has been published, I replaced this, the original, with this, a replacement. And it didn't go well because I wanted this light to work, it doesn't. Also, this comes out a bit too easily. If you pull out a 12 volt adapter, this sometimes comes out, which is not desirable. The thing is, this doesn't work very well, this uh, lighter, because because all of the adapters that I put in tend to pop out. So what I've found online is this. There's a couple of USB entries, one USB, regular USB, and the other USB-C. Now my idea was to thread these wires through, like so, come out the back and this can connect up to the same power source, the same uh, plug that powers the 12 volt socket. And then here at the front I'd find a way to fix this into place and I can have myself some actual 12 volt sockets because I don't use the ashtray. But the thing is how do I put this in place? And that's the big question that I'm facing now. Now some might say that I could probably, instead of getting one of these, get one of those actual 12 volt sockets that are USB outputs, like this. And the reason why I haven't replaced this with this is because the diameter is completely different. I'd have to open up this hole and thus making this modification irreversible. And I try, let me stress that, try not to make my modifications of my car are reversible. I've already put a cup holder in there, that's reversible. A USB input in the glove box, which again is reversible. Perhaps the less reversible thing that I did was to make some tiny holes in the back to make an actual storage compartment. And another thing that's on the table is this. It's something I bought years ago. Screw this somewhere, I don't know. It can be like back here or something. And then just feed this in through the hole if it fitted but it doesn't so yeah that's not an option this would have to be on the inside somewhere somewhere here but then this would be dangling out and that's not really what i'm looking for but it's a possibility so i think let me open this up i'm gonna have to rethink this so there's just nowhere for that hub to attach. It's got two holes. I'd have to drill, for example, a hole here onto this ridge and here. Uh, that just wouldn't work because it's a ridge. Where would the, the screw latch onto? Either that will put some brackets, but then I don't know, maybe the brackets will come out and I don't know. By the way, this doesn't come out, it's now stuck. So that's that as well. And I just don't think it's a good idea. I'm going to have to find some other surface, something else onto which I can attach the USB hub. So it's much later and I'm going to try to fasten this surface here. This is a lid from a chocolate ice cream thingy we jigging. My idea is like to try to fasten it here Cut some bits here and there, see if this all fits and as such, and yeah, even if it's not much of a fit, I'm going to try anyway. That's one of the worst things I've ever done. So it's a couple of days later, and as you can see, I've already installed it into place. Now it works perfectly, but it does have this other big problem. See that? Yeah, I just ruined it, haven't I? Ugh. Yeah. This will not do. This is just far too flimsy. 
and it was meant to be a temporary solution anyway for me just to, to just test it out so i'm going to have to come up with something that's you know far more durable and solid and i think i might resort to 3d printing which of course is already present in the car but i don't know how to do that because I don't have a 3D printer. I'm going to have to find a 3D printing service or something along those lines. Hopefully the sound isn't too bad. Because I've got my microphone. I'm back in the car and look, this is a prototype of a replacement for the ashtray. I made it white on purpose because then I can actually draw on this, you know, all, you know, shave a bit off there, shave a bit off here, that, etc. I still have to offer it up to the center console, see if it fits. I have no idea if it fits. Flimsy piece of, piece, the flimsy piece, I can't even speak properly. The flimsy piece of plastic comes out. Now this is the moment you've all been waiting for. That seems to go what? Oh my goodness me. Ah, no, it's a bit too short. It's this here. It's too prominent. If I shave this back, it might work. Try not to cut myself. Uh, it's also got a big gap at the top. Wasn't expecting that. I think I'm going to take this upstairs. I forgot to film my working out, but basically this is what I did. I covered it with this foam because the white was just so yucky. This is only a temporary solution anyway. And so there you have it. It's been installed in the car. Now this is a temporary solution, it's very ugly. I've already said those things multiple times, I believe. But for the time being, my car now has a USB hub instead of the 12 volt socket, which I never used anyway. So. This has been useful to test, you know, for example, it's got that phone bit here because the gap was so big that my phone could have accidentally slid through if I wasn't careful. So that's why that's there. And I've already begun the next iteration of this 3D printed model. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below what you think, etc. Uh, I really would like to know. You'll have to see how things turn out. For the time being, this is where we are. The ugly version is now installed and we're going to get a better version soon. So if you want to know how this turns out, then please subscribe if you haven't. Please leave a like, that would be lovely. If you want to watch a video on a successful 3D printed solution, then please click on the video above. And to see a series of dismal failures that didn't make it to the car, then please click on the video below. Thanks very much for watching. I bid you all farewell.